pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. Yeah. Um, I wanted to go on about and something that you sort of mentioned in the text before, like the actual brand itself and the gentleman at the front was sort of like gave us these little books here that sort of talked about the story mm -hmm. um, behind the brand. Are you guys able to speak to that and like how it sort of started? Do you know much about that? Um, so Marketing the, and sales? Yep, the lore go. goes, <laughs> uh, so David Walker and Adam Firestone are brothers-in-laws. Right. So the only true Firestone Walker is Polly. Adam's sister and that David's wife, uh, gotcha. she's Polly Firestone Walker. Um, they, I guess, when they got together, um, David was actively helping with the winery mm -hmm. because um, Adam was running Firestone Winery. Um, and then they got the crazy idea to start brewing. Um, and they started brewing using barrels because they're wine people. Okay. And uh, through a lot of fall and a lot of in, like infected beer. Uh, they eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this is like 21 years yeah. ago. Right? Yeah, long so before. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, they were, uh, know, like, everyone knew what they were doing. Yeah, yeah. they eventually look, uh, hooked up with Jeffers, who's still part of the company, Jeffers Richards Richardson. Um, he was the original brewmaster, and he developed the recipe for the double barrel ale, which is our flagship. So that beer is over 21 years old now. Damn. Yeah, and then uh, eventually uh, they bought what was it? Silvery? Wait, San Luis. They bought a brewery in Paso Robles, and then that was about 17 years slow ago. Brew. Yeah, it was slow yeah, brew. Slow and uh, Matt Brindelson, who is our current brewmaster, was there trying to keep the beer alive after the bank like foreclosed on that brewery. Matt would still go in and try to keep his beer alive, and then <laughs> David and Adam bought the location, and they found Matt, and they're like, "What the? Like, what's this guy doing? Like, what do you mean you're trying to save the beer?" And that I think that's when they really like changed the direction of the brewery, mm. having somebody so knowledgeable, like and passionate, like Matt. That's cool. And then David and Adam being really great businessmen, and David himself just being very personable. Like he basically is a representation of the Firestone brand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then you know over time, like Evan was saying earlier, uh, we're basically kind of not trendsetters, but you know we just make really great beer. Like people. When oh, trendsetters! Go, go in and own that. Yeah. That, that, that. Yeah, that's the truth. I mean, yeah. it's like anything that we've done, we've done well. Like one of our our latest big hits has been 805. It's our biggest selling beer. It's just our blonde ale, yeah, but we do it great. great. It's starting to outsell Corona, Modelo, Jeez. hitting the Latino market, which I'm super excited about. <laughs> um, and it's just like it, it. And there is a lot of people that come through, and they're like, "Why? Why aren't you part of these trends?" It's like because they're, the, you know, they're like the the, the Godfathers, not the forefathers yeah. per se, but the Godfathers point. of brewing and staying alive in this industry. They they survived the first dip. You know, they're not Sierra Nevada, but they're definitely up there. I mean, they're. So many people are so stoked. Like I often forget about it. Like I went to Green Cheek on Friday when we right. released the collaboration, right. and like Evan, the brewer there, was just super stoked that he got a brew with Matt. And yeah. I always forget. It's like, oh yeah, he's like the rock star. Yeah. But like to me, Evan, yeah. he's a freaking rock star. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 